You asked for it, you got it. We're gonna teach you how to be as strong as you can possibly be on the balls of your feet. We're using the WEC method 45 stance. There is no slack in the system in the 45 stance. You're on the balls of the feet, the outside fourth and fifth metatarsals, and you're creating a leverage effect where all of the connective tissue is united. The calf is not working more than it should, less than it should. Everything's united with this perfect vertical up and down through the balls of the feet. And you can deadlift a lot of weight doing this. And the good news is with the kettlebell, what I'm gonna teach you now, the goblet squat and the swing, they will help you master and find this float. So reviewing the float, you put your feet in a V. They could be wide in a V, they can be narrow in a V, you could even have one more than the other. Your body, okay, whatever makes your body feel effortless down and up. So if it feels effortless, well then that's a good indication that it is. And it's the spine and the shin angle congruency that's gonna do it. If I do this, now this is working, right? If I do this, well now this is working. If I do that, it's 100% that with ease. So kettlebell is gonna help you find it because you get to use the counterweight. So in the beginning, pinky, that line goes through the pinkies in your V. You can touch the heels together and keep a heel lock in the beginning. So you push your heels together. Dorothy, <laughs> take me home, baby. So you can do this and just play with the weight here in terms of like, does it feel like where it's, oh, that's, nope, that's too far in the back. Ah, no, right, okay, perfect. And you feel that like sense of effortless. There's no effort here. There's no effort here. The only association of work is really like you can feel like you're, like you're, watch this. From here, the haunch. You have like the, the balance. So you're, it's almost like you're as strong on one as you should be on two. So now, you've done that goblet. Now, hang it. Play with just tilting the balance and see if you can find and maintain that perfect balance where it's effortless, where you're just creating that little perturbation of the swing. The key on this is the lateralization of the knees. And that's what lets me keep the spine and shin angle congruent. So when I go to swing, I have to give myself a little space now. And when I go to swing, I find the balance, find the balance, and it's a squat swing, not a hinge swing because my spine and shin angles are staying the same as I do that swing. See how it's very vertical, 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 and that. So you're getting that. You can see how my heels are just hovering. My heels are hovering and floating, and now I have the ability to move the whole thing, and it's just, you get in shape, you, you move a lot better, it's fun, you don't hurt, and we're helping make every step stronger for everyone. <laughs> so, God bless, stay tuned for more.